all right so now that we have created the object and the fields let's look at how we are creating records now all right i'll quickly go to the covid tracker application and i'll go to the covid counts page record page here and i'll just click on new right so the first thing that you see is all the fields are available here but they are placed on a single column right what if you want to modify this layout right we can very well do that and also once you save a record you have this particular screen coming up right so this is a record page record page as in the page for the record that we have opened up right so this right here in the url that you see is the record id a record id is a unique identifier of each record in the system it's, it's kind of a primary key that identifies this record right this is the id 18 digit or a 15 digit id all right and this right here that you see is a record page this is called a record page now be it on contacts and if you just opened up a contact record this would be called a contact record page this page right here that's just opened right this is a contact record page whereas if i open a covid count record this would be a covid count record page right now under this record page we have different elements first of all you have this highlights panel on the top which has the name of the object and then the name of the record with a uh, tab format that we defined right we, we created a tab and with a unique uh, icon right this is that icon and then you have some quick actions or buttons here right now this highlights panel can be modified and we can add or remove buttons from here we'll look into that in a while and then down below you have something called the details tab this contains all the fields that the object has and that stores information about the record right so you see active cases deceased cases recovered cases and all the other fields and then you have created by and last modified by now what if we wanted to you know modify this particular layout what if the client says that you know i don't want this uh, in a single uh, paint of glass but i want this in two two different columns and you know multiple sections and all of it so we can definitely go ahead and modify it all right so what we'll be looking at next is how do we modify a page layout so let's go to setup and let's go to object manager now what page layout do we want to modify we want to modify the covid count page layout right so we'll just go to the covid count object and here we have talked about the de detail section we have talked about the fields and relationship section right now let's talk about the page layouts so you see there's one page layout automatically created for each object and we can just click on it and this opens up the page layout right this might look a bit tacky and a bit uh, complex but it is not just, just stay with me for probably two to five minutes and this should be very much clear so if i scroll down you'll see that this section right here looks exactly how you see the record right the way you see it here it's, it's pretty much similar to it right and then here on top you have some actions these actions are nothing but those buttons that you have you have available all right so let's look at things one by one first of all on the top this section right here is nothing but the area from which you can drag and drop things and you can put it on your layout or you can put put it back from the layout to the to this particular uh, header this is static and this stays with you even you even if you scroll down right now let's say i do not want the owner field i would just click on it and i can just drop it here like this so you see owner goes away if i wanted to put it back i can just click it and drag and drop it here simple right what what else can i do i can move my fields here and there by just pick up drag and drop i can do all of this right so what i'll do is i'll first of all arrange these arrange these particular fields in an order so that it looks a bit more compact and neat before doing that we also can create some sections and blank spaces all right so when i say section i can just click on that section and drop it somewhere right here i'll just give it a name i'll just call it basic information right and then it says whether we you want to display the header on a detail page and an edit page we will just keep it checked so that we can see this section header all right and then it asks whether the layout is needs to be a one column or a two column right so we'll mark it as a two column and this is nothing but the tab key order which means when you press the tab key where should the uh, input uh, pointer go next so from left to right and then down right if you want the other way other way around if you want to go down and then go to the right you can use top down all right i'll leave it as left right because that's the normal tendency and i'll click on okay so you see my section has gotten created and what i can do is i can simply pick up fields and drop them there so what i'll do is i'll put covid count name owner let me keep total cases here created by and last modified by i'll keep these four fields on the first section the next section i'll, I'll drag one more section here and i'll just call it daily numbers or i'll just call it daily count and i'll just say okay 
and in this daily count I'll put all these information like my active cases deceased cases and recovered cases and then here I will put total cases entry date and comments alright and this I'll just place it here and I'll just click on save alright so I've just rearranged my page a bit I've added some sections now let's see how things look like once the page has been saved so you see the COVID count layout is saved and it is modified today I'll just go back here and I'll just refresh this page Right, so you see this looks this looks a bit more compact right so the first section is basic information and see it is collapsible as well so you can open and close it as well all right this has the first four fields and then down below you have delhi count delhi count has all the fields right and the last two fields i did not put it on the section but i put it right below so th those are also coming under this section so this looks fine for now let's go ahead to the page layout and see what else can we do right now let's say the client says that we want some spacing between these uh, uh, count information and these two fields down below so we can add some blank space so when I say blank space we'll have to add some space between the recovered cases and day category field and comments and the checkbox field so how we can do that we can just use this blank space option place it here and place it here so you see some blank space is added here let's click on save so let's refresh it yeah so you see there's some space coming in I just added some more spaces just to check if it is working or not let me just go ahead and remove it so it takes some time uh, some sometimes it takes a bit of time so let me just remove this space from here and let me just remove this section let's click on ok click on save this takes some time to reflect so we'll leave it as is but you you can add some spaces like this all right we'll look into it in a while it should be uh, reloaded uh, probably some cache issue the next thing that we'll be looking at is you have these buttons right here right but these talk about creating a new contact new opportunity and all 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 of this irrelevant things right so ideally i would just want to edit this record or delete this record right or maybe probably clone this record so these are the only three actions i would need so i can modify these actions also so i'll just go to the covid count layout and here instead of the field section there's buttons then there's quick actions and then there's mobile and lightning actions right so when you go to quick actions these are nothing but your mobile actions and your uh, uh, global actions that are available but since you are currently on the lightning experience you need to go to the mobile and lightning experience here all right and if you see this section right here highlights that part salesforce mobile and lightning experience so it says actions are predefined by salesforce but you can override them right or i can just click on this gear icon right here so i'll just click on the override the actions and you see all the buttons are showing up here i'll just go ahead and remove all these extra buttons right i just have the three buttons now and i can just rearrange them as well i can put edit on top and then second delete and then clone and then let's click on the save button So you see only these three buttons are showing up now. Looks good.